Yo, what is up guys, Lucky here with another Apex Legend video and before you ask me in the comments, the song link will be in the description, it's always going to be there as long as I use that intro, so let's get right into it and interviews for Forge are out, the replies of Pathfinder, Gibby and Bangalore were released by Respawn and I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys, get into it real quick, have a little discussion on my opinion on it, you know the vibes, let's get into it. Alright, so Pathfinder goes on to say, When someone spreads lies about me, it makes me sad face. Like when I read what Forge said about me, of course I listen to my gut, whatever that is, every night when I run diagnostics. My gut processors help me troubleshoot my eye drive, covering impressionism, indigenous species to the outlands, and irony. Otherwise, Forge was 100% accurate. He's fun and he's right, and that makes him my new second best friend. Now, we all know that... Mirage is Pathfinder's first best friend, so kind of interesting. Um, I guess I expected Pathfinder to say this because he is very happy and optimistic all the time, even in battle. And just the way he talks, you can tell he's very optimistic. So, eh, not very surprised by the response. Now, Gibby goes on to say, let me guess, Forge said something like, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, he laughs. Haven't heard that before. These new guys, they're all the same. Train, qualify, win. But you don't shine like the sun on your own, brother. The games were designed for teams, and the ones who fly solo are the ones leaving in body bags. You want my response? Here it is. Welcome to Apex, Forge. If you're on my squad, I'll have your back from dropship to championship. That's my game, brother. Looking forward to seeing yours. Now... I'm going to go ahead and read a specific part which says the games were designed for teams. The ones who fly solo are the ones leaving in body bags. I think that's to throw shots at all the TTVs, at all the sweaty 20 bombers that just don't like to drop with their teammates. They drop solo and then when they die, they just quit automatically. Or the teammates that just drop extremely far and then when they die, they just start automatically abusing the pinging system. But you guys can also look at it in the sense that Respawn is kind of telling us that we are not getting solos back or duos because it is a team-based game. And from my experience, when you stick with your squad, you do have a better chance of surviving. You're not always going to be able to clutch 1v3s or 1v6s because that's just not how apex was designed so gibby's response so far is one of my favorite response but let's see what bangalore had to say about forge all right guys so bangalore goes on to say a thing i never had oh i know this clown a few years ago i'm at the shooting range firing off the gucci of assault rifles like i always do on my birthday i've got eyes and ears on when this creeper traps this creeper taps me on the shoulder from my six while I'm shooting a gun. Who let a pretty thing like you fire a big boy gun like that? I try to ignore him, but Sherlock doesn't get the clue. And when I don't respond, he puts his hand on my waist and, well, next thing I remember, there's a round of ammo in his new transport's rear thruster. So, yeah, we had a thing. Tell boyfriend I'm looking forward to rekindling the fire when I see him in World's Edge. Now, this is very interesting. So... It leads me to believe that Forge is one of those characters that we all know in real life that thinks because a girl is mean to him or ignores him or gives him a slick response or any kind of uh, small talk or gesture that the girl likes him or that could be a thing. And uh, I don't know, man. Like I said in the past video, Forge seems to have a big ego. He really is full of himself. And Bangalore is not here to play, all right? If you've ever played against or with a good Bangalore player, you know that they are something to fear. And Bangalore being a first class sergeant, she is nothing to play with. And honestly, I'm very proud of her response. She handled it like a champ. And she really pretty much kicked him in the guts and told him what's up. And honestly, he shouldn't even be putting his hands on her. So Forge was definitely out of line. I'm 100% behind Anita Williams. And this is just very interesting. This is the Apex Lord pretty much evolving a little bit more and more. 
I'm extremely interested to see where Respawn takes this, and I cannot wait for when we get the trailer. But guys, without further ado, that's everything I have to cover. It's your boy Lucky. Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you like the video, and if you don't, I still appreciate you. I appreciate all the good comments and the bad comments. So, with that said, I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night. I'm out of here, guys.